When I first caught sight of doubt, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill, his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness, that the void is the source of doubt, heresy, and suffering, that the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows, maybe they're right. The same dream. My arm hacked away, my eye hollow and burning. It still aches. Let's hope it's not some kind of omen. Let me tell you something about the void, Billy Lark. It touches the minds of the dreaming and the dying alike. And sometimes, dreams can only tell you what you wanted to forget. I know who you are. Why are you here? What do you want from me? I usually want something from What me. in the void? But you don't want my mark, do you, Billy? So I will return something you lost. Wait, what are you? Ah! The world was wounded around you. <gasps> and you carry the scars. You will never be the same. I wonder if you'll like them. What did he do to me? Of course he shows up now. Shit, shit! He took my arm! And my face! Is it because of the dreams? Or doubt? The Grand Guard take down the Eyeless. Ha! <laughs> Choffers. to you. The outsider did this. What did he say? I've had bad dreams for a while now, and he was never there. But I feel good, strong, like all those years ago when we ran together. He didn't offer me his mark, just said some cryptic shit, and left me with this. I never knew what the black-eyed bastard wanted. Be careful. The outsider's gifts come with a price. You won't know until it's already been paid. <coughs> I didn't have much choice. Neither do I. My connection to the void is fading. We've got to act soon. Before it takes me forever. You found a way to do it. To kill the outsider. How? I spent years looking for an answer. I searched the aisles. Tracked down a dozen crazy cults. But there's more to the Eyeless. They've got a relic. The knife that made the Outsider. Thousands of years ago, it's here. In Karnaka. A knife. So you want me to steal it? Soon. First, we need to find out who leads the Eyeless. And where they keep that knife. They're powerful people. Wealthy or noble or both. I don't know their names. But they all have an esoteric tattoo sets them apart. Those low-ranking thugs at the boxing club talked about getting inked in the Red Camellia in the Upper Syria district. I'll go there and see what I can find. Try to rest out. I couldn't do this on my own anymore, Billy. Thank you. All our lives, the Abbey of the Everyman tells us to hate him. For once, they're right. So are we working for the Abbey now? They'd kill us as soon as him if they had the chance. No. 
The Abbey doesn't want our help. And we don't need it. Plague Spirit. The Eyeless's favorite drink, I guess. They even have their own saloon. Hark, there she blows. Hark, under she blows. Sharp pulls up the long side. Sharp will in This looks like the place. Another day like yesterday, and I think give it up for good. Better off. Sure.
the rich pay to poison themselves with this shit. Wish they'd just finished the job. That smell. What are they mixing these inks with? This must be where the eyeless get inked. I always wanted to join a cult. All right, if this is what it takes. Don't flinch. Sean Yun, the singer? And a city administrator, Ivan Jacoby. These are high profile people. There's a third leader mentioned, but no name. Hmm. Door stays closed. I don't want to fall through in the middle of my speech. You heard, Mr. Jacoby. Close the damn trapdoor already. Yes, sir. Citizens of Karnaka, I'm here today to demand the repeal of the Reappropriation of Abandoned Burials and Grave Sites Act. Regraving disrespects the deceased and shames the living. Would you want your loved ones to. Uh, no, that's not it. Graving disrespects the deceased and shames the uh, feeling. Graving disrespects the deceased and shames. Where's Winston with those papers? I should give him my house key when he gets here so he can bring me another coat. This one's filthy. Graving. Graving. Terrible thing. Graving. Told it was Wait. the wrong type of oil. I think I have it. They don't want citizens of Karnaka. Next time, I'm we're just here keep today to speak for those whose voices are gone from us. Every time we destroy a grave and erase a name from our cemeteries, a silent scream resounds through the void. Would you want your loved ones? No, that's not it either. Perhaps I should start. <sighs> Worry about Martin Malaro's. Shroud? A tearjerker, that one. Put everyone in a sympathetic mood. Or maybe that joke about the false teeth. Uh, no, scratch that. Jokes about the dead are too risky. The audience might think it's in poor taste. Or that spooky story. Uh, uh, the knocker at the windows. Deliciously sinister. No, no, no. Thinking. Citizens of Karnaka. No. Dear sir of Karnaka. Beloved citizens of Karnaka. Ah! Think, Ivan, think. The dead. The dead are mo are being moved. The wandering spirits are watching us, citizens of Karnaka. Ah, that might scare the audience. Citizens of Karnaka, I'm here today to demand the repeal of the Reappropriation of Abandoned Burials and Grave Sites Act. Regraving disrespects the deceased and shames the living. Would you want your loved ones to... No, that's not it. Regraving disrespects the deceased and shames the... Uh, no, feeling. 
Raving disrespects the deceased and shames. Where's Winstead with those papers? I should give him my house key when he gets here so he can bring me another coat. That's the sort of filthy. Regraving. Regraving. Terrible thing. Regraving. Wait. I think I have it. Citizens of Karnaka, we're here today to speak for those whose voices are gone from us. Every time we destroy a grave and erase a name from our cemeteries, a silent scream resounds through the void. Would you want your loved ones? No, that's not it either. Perhaps I should start my story about Martin Morrow's threadbare shroud. Teacher, is that one? Put everyone in a sympathetic mood. Or maybe that joke about the false teeth. No, scratch that. Jokes about the dead are too risky. The audience might think it's in poor taste. Or that spooky story. Uh, uh the knocker at the window. Be no longer break. No. I count on my bed, you know? Citizens of Karnaka. No. Dear citizens of Karnaka. Beloved citizens of Karnaka. Ah! The dead. The dead are mo are being moved. The wandering spirits are watching us, citizens of Karnaka. That might scare the audience. Citizens of Karnaka, I'm here today to demand the repeal of the reappropriation of abandoned burials and grave sites act. Raving disrespects the deceased and shames the living. Would you want your loved ones to? in this part of town are a bad sign. I expect smuggling in the dockyard districts, but here, not good. Better tell Captain Lowry. I had to whitewash smuggler graffiti three times this week. On the same wall. I'm tired of it. It has to be the knife. It's in a bank vault. Just my luck. Looks like I need to find that second key. Ugh, these people are sick.
taste anything like pigeon. It's beyond embarrassing. I will be able to have another dinner party for at least a month. Uh. Gazette, the latest news from around the aisles. And that's all I'm going to say about it. something would happen around here doesn't have to be a circus just some little bit of excitement once in a while Some eyeless goons tried to persuade me to stop the Cienfuegos investigation. I must be onto something big. What investigation? Karnaka's had a string of gruesome murders, all the blood drained from victims while they're still alive. Ivan Jacoby's involved somehow, I know it, but I need evidence. I'm offering a reward for anyone who can bring me proof of his involvement. Here's your proof. You are right. It was Jacoby. He seems to have unusual hobbies. I knew it! Those monsters. Ivan Jacoby, my friend, you're going down. The combination is 326. Help yourself. Say there's someone on the prowl. Thank you. This blood sample is the exact proof I need to link Jacoby to the murders. I don't feel safe. What is wrong with this city? <laughs> 